Welcome back. Unfortunately, we tried uh, our best possible to, to get by Salbani, but I guess uh, technology decided to do what autocrats sometimes do. You, you, you can't get past the, the barrier they've set for you, so we couldn't reach him. Uh, but we use this opportunity now to do what we usually do to close this, uh, this program. Uh, today is Tuba. The 1957 Willings Commission. The 1957 Willings Commission, also known as the Minority Rights Commission, was established in pre-independent Nigeria. Its purpose was to investigate and make recommendations regarding the concerns and grievances of minority ethnic groups in the three pre-independent federating regions of the country, as the West, the East, and the North. The commission was named after its chairman, Sir Henry Willings, a British lawyer and administrator. It was formed in response to the growing tensions and conflicts between the different ethnic groups in Nigeria, particularly the majority ethnic groups and the minority ethnic groups who felt marginalized and discriminated against. The Willings Commission conducted thorough research and consulted with various stakeholders, including minority ethnic groups, government officials, and experts on minorities' rights, both within and outside the colony. Nigeria was still a colony then. It was actually in 1957. It produced a report in 1958 known as the Willings Commission Report, which contained its findings and recommendations. The report rec recognized the deep-rooted issues faced by minority ethnic groups and highlighted the need to address their grievances and ensure their rights and representation. It recommended the establishment of an administrative structure and would protect the interests and rights of minority groups, promote their economic and social development, and prevent discrimination and marginalization. The Willings Commission report called for the creation of special areas known as special status areas, quote unquote, special status area, to provide a framework for the protection and development of minority ethnic groups. These areas would have their own legislative councils and will receive special attention in terms of infrastructure development, education, healthcare, and economic opportunities. Although the recommendations of the Willings Commission were not fully implemented during the colonial period, they had a significant influence on subsequent policies and discussions regarding minority rights and representation in Nigeria. Habit the anti-AG political mischief of MPA, MPC, and NCNC aided the constitutional and democratic creation of the Midwestern region in 1963 by the minorities of Benin and Delta provinces of the Old Western region. At the expense of the agitations of the minorities of the Northern region, particularly the TUC, Domas, ETC, who had routed several times, and of the Eastern region, whose protestations originally brought about the establishment of the commission, and also against the 10 regions of federating units recommended by the commission. The report also shed light on the importance of inclusivity and equal treatment for all ethnic groups, laying the foundation for the recognition and protection of minority rights in the country. In conclusion, it is not still appropriate, is it not still appropriate to ask how the minorities of today's federating units, like the Domas in Benue, Okun Yorubas in Kogi, Riverine people in rivers, ETC, dedicated the minorities, how they are fearing the minorities within the minority state. How are they fearing? Are the dominant minorities similarly oppressing the smaller minorities in their state? And that's it on the show for tonight. I am Bola Oba. Have a good night. Thank you.